Greetings, my name is Brandon Frame and I'm the Senior Director of Social Emotional Learning at the Urban Assembly. And if you've been following me on this journey to see SCL Nation in action, and I'm continuing my journeys in New York City, here in the Bronx, uh, to see the SEL state of mind that is taking place. It brings me to the Bronx High School for Visual Arts to see their journey around social emotional learning and how they are prioritizing the social emotional and academic development of young people. So let's go in here and see all the work that they've been up to. Let's go. Crystal Witherspoon, how are you? Great to see you. It's Great good to see you too. Bye. Oh, it, I mean, I have to. I I heard uh, through the grapevine that SCL Excellence was happening here at the Bronx High School for Visual Arts, and so I had to come and see um, and and hear about the journey and the work that's taking place. So, can you tell me a little about what's taking place here? An incredible journey, just getting to know the kids working with my staff, getting them onboarded in terms of what are the things they can do in their classrooms and in the hallways and in the cafeteria and everywhere to really support young people, particularly around their social, emotional growth, development, awareness. And it's been an incredible year. On my way in, I saw some lockers. Mm. Uh, can you tell me about the, the lockers? Okay, so that's been happening for the last two years. So we have a youth advisory council that's worked on a podcast around equity and youth voices. And they did this whole project around art. They felt that we needed more art in the building and they wanted art that was relevant and was a representation of the students that are currently in the building. We had a lot of art, as you can see at the school, but they're constantly looking for more relevant art that represents the students that are in the building today. And so those are paintings of my former students from last year, but we also have begun to make that a tradition. So now the graduates of the class of 2023 have painted their own lockers this school year. So we're going to do this every single year where the seniors of the class will paint their own lockers. Such an amazing display of self-awareness and social awareness. Um, so today, you know, here, while I'm here, can we go around to meet the staff, the students, the faculty, to, to hear about the SEO excellence that's taking place here? Absolutely, absolutely. Let's go. All right, let's do it. Awesome. All right. Can't wait. Okay. I champion social emotional learning because it is critical to learning, period. All learning is social. It is an integral part of what should happen in every single classroom. As educators, I believe that are responsible for creating a safer and supportive learning environment and integrate SEL in our curriculum. Very important factor to our school community, but it's an important factor to our well-being. I champion it because it's just so essential to being a, a healthy adult. Social emotional skills have helped me be successful in school, helping me be a better communicator with the students and staff around me. SEL lives everywhere in my school. So if you walk in my building, it's a very warm, nurturing environment. Teachers have amazing relationships with their young people. High school students need to develop skills in SEL because they're at that stage of their life where they are about to go into the real world. SEL skills has helped me in school by helping me make friendships with not just my classmates, but also my school as a whole. Being able to like, plan things out, make decisions. That helps me become self-aware of myself will make your relationship and social interactions more efficient. SEL in my classroom through daily check-ins, seeing how they're doing. I share my own life stories and I give chance for students to practice uh, SEL. We do a lot of conferencing in our classes, um, at least once every marking period. In addition, we do have advisory once a week and students get explicit instruction in specific social emotional learning skills. Social emotional skill I'm working on is self-management. Decision making. Social awareness. Goal-directed behavior. Decision making. I'm working on 
self-awareness. Engaging in self-care. Social awareness. Social emotional skill that I am most proud of my growth in is my relationship skills. My self-awareness. My self-management -man skills. My SEL superpower is social awareness. Self-awareness. I would say to someone who says no to social emotional learning in school is you are contributing to a community where it's dangerous. Kids need to be aware of what they're feeling, the root cause of that feeling, and how to go about it. When kids know that you care about them, you care not just about how they're doing academically, but how they're doing socially, emotionally, how they're navigating different skill sets, they actually do better. They come to school more. They're more engaged. One student that I would like to thank would be Munya. Actually, two ninth grade girls, Dior and Fatima. Jemaya. Emily was very quiet, very, very by herself. She checks in every day. They actually touch on all these five competencies. Think of a particular student that I have who's a senior, who's done a lot of growing up. And I gotta tell you, this young man now is part of my Bronx Student Advisory Council. After little and too much, she moved to her assigned seat in front and sat and started engaging herself. Wow, did you see that SCL excellence in action? It was just an honor to be here, here in the Bronx, to see high quality social emotional learning in action. I'm so excited for the rest of the Bronx, the rest of New York City, and all of the United States of America to see SCL Nation in action. Mm -hmm.